Today we're going to check out some scooter news out of Indonesia and wait, before you click off this video, this news applies to you as well because, you know, the trickle down effect. We've been teased about it for a little bit now, but it's finally official. Say hello to what will be our new 2023 Honda ADV 160 here in the USA. Ever since Honda rolled out their new 156.9 cc four valve engine that's used in the PCX 160 here in the States and around the world, everyone has been wondering, when will the two valve 149.3 cc setup that's currently used in the ADV 150 be thrown to the side for this new, more powerful engine setup and thankfully we don't have to wait any longer. This new engine brings a little bump in performance with an extra one and a half horsepower bringing its peak power up to 15.82 horsepower and an extra 0.7 foot pounds of torque for a total of 10.84. Now that may not sound like a lot but that's roughly 10% and that's usually something you can feel in your butt dyno but we'll have to see if it's that noticeable once I get to throw my leg over one soon. I know, engine upgrades are nice and all, but that doesn't excite everyone and thankfully that's not the only corner of this little automatic adventure styled scooter that Honda touched this year. To help you manage all of that extra horsepower is the addition of Honda's selectable torque control, their version of traction control which up until the last couple of years has only been on Honda's higher end motorcycles, but as you can tell here, it's starting to trickle down to even more models. Tying in with the HSTC system is the new gauge display it's packing and now that you have more electronic features to mess with, you've got a new little joystick here to help you cycle through everything. Another big update is the new lower C height. It's been dropped from 31.3 inches down to 30.7 inches, which will definitely help those that might be a little vertically challenged, which also caused Honda to cut the handlebar risers a little bit to accommodate the lower seat, and it also has a different shape now to help with getting your feet on the ground. And while on the topic of seats, underneath it you now have an additional 2 liters of storage bringing the total capacity up to 30 liters. The ADV also gets a taller, adjustable windshield for added wind protection. Visually it looks very similar to the ADV 150, but there were a few design tweaks here and there, and one of them is the wider leg shields for more protection from the element. Some new colors were also brought to the table and Indonesia also gets the option of choosing between an ABS model, which is our standard model here in the States, or you can opt for the CBS version, which stands for Combined Braking System instead of Anti-Lock Braking System. Sadly, we'll probably only get one color to choose from here in the good old US of A, like usual, but hey, at least we'll actually be getting it unlike some of the other cool scooters and motorcycles from Honda that aren't imported into America. What do you guys think though? Are any of you excited for the new 2023 Honda ADV 160 release date here in the USA? And do you like the new changes thrown at the ADV for this year or is there something else you wish Honda would have changed? Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments section and I'll be joining in on the conversation too. Thanks as always for watching and helping support all of this. I really appreciate it guys and we'll see you in the next one.